Hey guys, today I want to talk about a very useful, well, it's an extension and it's a website that allows you to get much, much more out of Gmail. Now, whether you have Gmail or a G Suite account, you can make it even more productive for you. And this piece of software is called Inbox Pro. Now, what does it do? Well, let's talk about Gmail. Gmail is pretty good. It has some good features that you can have templates and you can schedule emails. But it doesn't have things like being able to track, to send follow-ups. I mean, what if somebody hasn't replied to your email in two days? Wouldn't it be nice to be able to automatically nudge them and send a little follow-up? What about if they haven't opened your email? Well, why not nudge them and say, hey, I noticed you didn't open my email. Um, just wondering, why not? And what if you could create signatures? which are nice and easy to use signatures in your Gmail. And what about if you could also analyze exactly when is the best time to send emails to your contacts? Now, maybe this is more suited for people who are running a small business or need to have this information. So I decided to jump in on this AppSumo deal and I got it at a very special price. There is a link to the AppSumo deal if it's still available um, in the actual description but i want to talk about how good this is so first of all how easy is it to use well you go to the chrome store you download the extension and then it asks you to give it permission to access your gmail account and do various things on your gmail account perfectly safe you can do it then what you can do is you have your dashboard here first thing that i have is i have the tracking so here what you can see is um, you can see, obviously I've covered out the information, but you can see that the email has been read. You can see when it was last opened and how many times it was opened. Now, this is quite powerful because if you see that somebody has opened your email two, three times, well then that definitely means that they are a hot lead and they're interested in your particular product. Because you know the way they might go in and they might read the product, uh, the email that you sent, and then they might think, mm, and then they come back an hour later and they read it. So what I can do is I can click into any of the emails, and this is one that I um, was actually emailing the support desk of Inbox Pro. And it will give me more information. It'll tell me how many times it was opened, when it was opened, and then if there are links in it, it will tell me if the actual link has been clicked. So that's really handy. Now, the second thing I want to show you is something that I forgot to tell you about, that it actually has a calendar booking system as well. I haven't used this because I use Calendly and I use other uh, booking services, but that's another plus for it. Now, here is where it becomes powerful. You have templates that you can use, and I just go into new template, and I type in my subject line. So uh, this is the subject, and then I type in my email here. Now, this is the first thing that I said to support, can we get this feature in that you can actually put in variables? Because I use another system called uh, Vocus, or Vocus, I can never pronounce it. <laughs> and what you can do is you can type in something like, hey, name. And then what happens is a pop-up comes up and you put the person's name in. With this system, you can't do that at the moment, but they have said to me that they are going to look at doing that. So what I do is I save my templates and I have all my different templates here. And what I can actually see is the performance of the templates. So this can be very good for A-B testing. Now, what you could do is you could test out two or three different templates with slight tweaks and see which one performs better. Then we have follow-ups. Now, what follow-ups allow me to do is they allow me to send a sequence of emails. So let me just click on to sequence here and click into new sequence. And what I could do is I could set this so on day one, send if the email is not opened and send it after six days up to 31 days at a certain time. So I have a uh, hello and then I put in my little information here. Now I could also select a template if I wanted. If I had a template created, I could select it there. I can choose not opened not replied or regardless. So this is regardless. Maybe you could set it up so that after 31 days, it just sends an email saying, hey, just checking in to see how you are getting on. So I'm gonna say not replied. Then what I can do is I can send a second email and say, I want this, if it hasn't been opened, 
after three days, then I send another email at, for example, 2 p.m. Put in my subject here, put in my body here, and then I save that sequence. Excellent stuff so far. Then I can create signatures. So I can go in here and I can type in new signature. And this will automatically, I don't need to install this into um, Gmail, it automatically comes up. So I just put in Richard uh, Head Hancho, my company, my email, okay, Richard at Richard.com, which is not my email address. Um, I can put in my website here, which I can put in Richard Butler coach. I can put in my phone number, my mobile, I can upload a photo, etc. Now I can put it exactly like that. Or what I can actually do is I can use a template here. So I can put it like that. I can put it up as top bar, right side. I mean, there's lots of different um, things that you can do. I can then change the design, I can put different colors in there, I can have this spacious, I can have a compact, uh, I could have a, a photo link, my logo can link to a certain place. The social icons, how do I want them? I might like to have them like that. And then we have some add-ons here that I can add on the calendar scheduler. And then simply, I just go save signature, and that's it. So everything is set up from this end. Now, we have analytics. My analytics aren't showing yet because I just purchased this, so it will take time to gather all of the information there. Now, if I go back to Gmail, what I can actually do is, well, I can see here that it notifies me when somebody has actually looked at my email. But when I go into Compose, what I now see is my signature comes up. Now, just be careful because if you already have another signature, you're going to have double signature. So I might just uh, get rid of this one. But I might, yeah, I might just get rid of this one because I don't want that signature coming up as well. So I have that one, and then I have um, email tracking is on. I can schedule this to be sent at a certain time. Okay, so let's say I'm going on holidays, which I am. I could set up emails to go tomorrow afternoon or after a month or on a certain date. I can put in my calendar if I have my calendar schedule. Okay, I don't have any calendar set up. This is where I can choose a template or I can choose it from here. So instead of me having to write out the email, I just choose that template. And this is where I attach the sequences that I've actually put in. So that attaches automatically. And then this is for my signatures. Now, there is this thing called Magic Compose. It, I don't know, I don't, it hasn't worked so well for me. The idea here is that what you would do is you would type in a subject line. So uh, meeting next week, uh, let's meet next week. And you would type in somebody. And then you would go to Magic Compose and you get a hundred of these Magic Composes per month and it supposedly writes an email for you. Now this is this one is better than the other ones I've seen. Um, so, hi Naim, I'd love to meet up with you next week to discuss a potential partnership you started chatting about a couple of weeks ago. Are you free for a quick 15 minute meeting next Wednesday? I hope to hear from you soon. So the idea is that it gives you prompts for you to have an email that you can then write. Then what I do is I just click on send. So let me just send this to myself. And okay, uh, now this is the, the, the system I'm using, the, the Vocus, but let me just send that. And what will happen is I get that particular email there. I've opened it up and if I go back to my Inbox Pro and I go to tracking, I should actually see that email there. And it tells me that Richard opened that up. Now, one of the things I'm not 100% sure on is it does say it was open two times. Um, it does say it was read twice. Now, I suspect, and if the um, owner is looking at this or one of the dev team is looking at this, I suspect that um, it sends back a signal to say that the email has been delivered. And then when you open it, it registers that as the second open. I can't say that for sure, but I believe that that is what could be happening. So let's talk about whether this is actually worth buying. I believe it is because I think once the analytics start to come through, um, they say on their website that the analytics will allow you to find out when you're the most, when you're the busiest, okay? So when you send the most emails, 
and when your emails are open the most. Now, I think that is crucial because then what you can do is you can say, I'm in Europe. I might say, well, I actually know that at 4.25 to 4.45 EST is when most of the emails are open, which would, for me would be 10.45 at night. But what I can do is I can write all my emails during the day and set them to go at 4.45 EST or, as I said, um, 10.45 at uh, night European time. So that's where it becomes powerful because then over the course of maybe two weeks, three weeks, I haven't, haven't been able to test this, you will know the exact time that you can send your emails and when they will be open most. So why is that good? Because then, for example, if I send an email at nine o'clock my time, that is 3 a.m. EST. And the problem is that if I start sending emails at 3 a.m. EST, by the time 9 a.m. EST rolls around, maybe the, the email is 10 or 20 emails down in the actual inbox. Whereas if I know this person seems to open their emails in and around um, 10.45 EST in the morning, I can set my emails to go off at that time. So you see where that's powerful. Now, since this is a one-time deal uh, or a lifetime deal at the moment, I would grab this without hesitation. I mean, it is very, very, very powerful. The support seems really good. Um, if you are one of the team, you will know that I've asked a lot of questions. And I always do this with Absomo deals. I like to ask and test out the support because I think if the support is good during the actual deal time, then it's going to be good later on because obviously they have an influx of, of people. Now, if you haven't been able to get this on the deal, just click on the link and it will actually bring you to the best price possible. And if you have any questions, let me know. If you're watching this video on YouTube, give it a like. Feel free to share, uh, leave any comments. And as I said, I'll talk to you very soon.